Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 19th of July 1799, an announcement was made of the discovery of a slab of rock covered in carvings near the Egyptian town of Rashid, also known as Rosetta. Napoleon's campaign in Egypt had begun the previous year. He had landed with the dual objectives of protecting French trade in the area and undermining Britain's access to its Indian colonies. Alongside his soldiers, Napoleon also took 167 scientists and scholars who had been tasked with various jobs including researching the geological possibilities of building a Suez Canal and creating accurate maps of the country. It was while some of the engineers were working with the army to strengthen Fort Julien in the northern delta area that the Grenadierite block we now know as the Rosetta Stone was uncovered. French Lieutenant Pierre-Francois Bouchard found it as part of the excavations, and it was sent to the newly created Institute of Egypt in Cairo, who announced the find and devised ways to make copies of the inscriptions. These copies soon made their way to universities and museums around the world. The inscription on the stone is a decree written in three different scripts, Ancient Egyptian Hieroglyphs, Demotic and Ancient Greek. It is because the scripts effectively convey the same message that transliteration between them was able to take place. This provided the key to understanding hieroglyphics, although they weren't deciphered until 1822. When the British defeated the French army in 1801, they seized a large number of French finds, including the Rosetta Stone. It has been exhibited in the British Museum in London ever since. Thank you.